It's early morning in this mid-Cretaceous desert. By noon, most of the inhabitants will have taken shelter. Few species can actually tolerate the full brunt of such extreme temperatures. Most live their entire lives by the light of the moon. Enter Eryptodromius cubicularis. Small, swift, and most importantly, subterranean. Where others sleep through the sweltering heat of midday, Eryctodromeus choose to simply avoid it altogether. For everyone in this colony of burrowing dinosaurs, the first light of dawn means it's time to grab breakfast. They have a few hours before the heat will force them back below ground, and they will make the most of it. This family group is made up of adults and youngsters. They're led by a mated dominant pair. It's their job to keep the rest of the group safe. Should either of the sentries spot trouble, everyone runs for cover. An Eryctodromius, like many desert animals, usually gets most of the moisture it needs from his diet of desert flora. This group, however, has carved out a territory near a source of standing water. It's a prime patch of land, they aren't the only ones to have settled here. These two families have existed in an uneasy truce for a generation. There's enough food and water for everyone, so long as the oasis doesn't run dry. Nobody wants to risk an injury. Midday approaches, and the encroaching heat is starting to become too much for our little herbivores to tolerate. So, with full bellies, they retreat back under the surface to wait out the rest of the day. This carefully maintained burrow will shelter them for a long time to come, if fortune favors this small family. Twilight brings with it another chance to feed, and new dangers. Velociraptors are swift, agile nocturnal hunters, and especially dangerous in groups. Equipped with sharp eyes, a keen sense of smell, and exceptional hearing, it's very difficult to escape their notice. And once they've spotted a target, escape is a matter of luck and experience. The loss of one of the youngsters is a blow to the Eryptodromius herd, but for the Velociraptors, it means full bellies and enough meat to feed their own young. Such is the delicate and ever-shifting balance between predator and prey. Months pass. The days grow still hotter, and gradually the heat begins to take its toll. In the grip of an unusually long dry season, the foundation of the desert's delicate ecosystem cracks. The earth bakes, and the plant life begins to suffer. Some of the desert's hardier inhabitants have evolved to digest the tough, prickly vegetation endemic to the area. It is an advantage the Eryctodromeus do not possess. However deadly they may be, even the Velociraptors steer well clear of this denizen of the dunes. In the face of its bony hide and spiked armor, their teeth and claws pose no more threat than the cacti that make up its diet. Food becomes scarcer. The wariness that lingered between these two nearly identical families escalates to tension, and finally, to territorial aggression.
our small family group has been driven away by the rival clan. But their defeat was by no means decisive. This wasn't the first time these confrontations have turned violent, and probably won't be the last. Only the arrival of the rains will bring peace. A few more weeks later, the heat finally breaks. The drought ends too late for some of the younger Erichtodromius, but the adults have survived, and they have another season of plenty to look forward to. Thus it has been for the generations before, and will be for the ones to come. She's a wolf in mouse clothing. Ah! The mouse's ghostly howl stakes claim to. Ah! 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 Ah!